championship games in the French Alps, where Alain LeBlanc is getting ready to start his run. Mention his record. You're a sportscaster. That's your job. No stranger to winning, LeBlanc already holds the world record for the downhill slalom. Thank you. And it looks like he may set a new one here today. In That's definitely gonna hurt his time. Uh, guys, you're gonna want to see this. <sighs> Harry, is this that commercial where the guy cuts his kid's hair with a vacuum cleaner? No, it's Alain LeBlanc. Look, this is his best time ever. And he's being chased by genus monsters. This is the scene here in the French Alps, where a simple sporting event has become, instead, a battle for survival. Let's saddle up. I'll arrange transport. I'll modify the fire truck. I'll get the box of shredded Odie bread. Huh? What? His picture's on it. Genus or no genus, I'm not passing up a chance to get Alain LeBlanc to sign my cereal. Oh, if there still is an Alain LeBlanc. Now forget that. If there's still a France. Uh, call me crazy, but something tells me they went that away. Come on! Let's go hunting. Shh, gas. Easy there. Take cover. They're coming. Hey, they didn't even try to eat us or anything. You sound disappointed. Of course. That's it. Don't you see? No. They've adapted to the most plentiful food source available. In this case, the evergreens. So they're like vegetarian monsters? Not for long. My calculations indicate that they'll evolve once they've consumed enough cellulose from the woods. Hey! <laughs> If you guys don't mind. Let's clean up the others before they have a chance to evolve. Hey, Genus, heads up. was a slam dunk. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. Not entirely. Who wants to go for the extra point? Anyone? Anyone? Come on, Wayne. We're going into overtime. The area's clear, Doc. Uh-oh. Why do you have that it ain't over yet look? Because it's never been this easy. At these cold temperatures, the heat signature of the genus ought to stick out like a sore thumb. But the satellite link shows nothing. Nothing to see here. 
stay here, Wayne. I'll be right back. I've got a cereal box in need of an autograph. What a horrible thing. Is it safe? No need to worry, ma'am. A fireman. In training, Wayne Green is on the job. But of course it was horrible. Hey! Slimy monsters everywhere. But what is a man to do but face life as it comes? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. LeBlanc. I was one. I guess he's still a little jumpy. So then I thought a 516th hex bolt would be just the thing. You know, I never would have thought of that. I would have checked the intake manifold for cracks before tightening the case cover. Well, I tried that first and I was stumped, but then I just got lucky, I guess. But when I refitted the fuel injectors... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I uh, hate it when that happens. Don't worry, ladies. Wayne always does this. Ever since he got infected with the genus virus, Ira used Wayne's blood to make a serum and save the day. <laughs> it was great! You're a real charmer, Wayne. Excuse me, sir. I'm very sorry for a moment ago. It's just that I'm a little on edge. But I would be happy to sign your box of... Uh, no! no. I... Okay, now he's just showing off. Hmm. The genus has adapted pretty well to the cold, but most of them are dormant until disturbed. Good. If they're dormant, it'll be that much easier to blast these things back to where they came from. Woodman. So, what brings you to these fine French Alps? The skiing, the food, the desire to tell me how to do my job and interfere with my work? I'm guessing it's the last one. Kane, this is General Jean-Luc Marceau. Unlike you, he's a professional. Well-versed in military matters. Ah, let me guess. That means he likes to blow things up? Would you excuse us a moment, General? Kate, I am not about to let you mess up international relations with your smart mouth. You had garlic for lunch, ah, didn't you? Look! The genus needs to be hit hard. We can't allow any country to see us as weak. Even our allies? Especially our allies! Look, General, we don't even know exactly what we're dealing with here. It doesn't matter! The plan covers almost all contingencies. We'll drop a 20-ton selenium bomb on the glacier. Non-incendiary, of course. I've learned from past experience that heat only makes these things stronger. It is a good plan. Now I see. <laughs> yeah, well, so is General Wood. Listen, we haven't found the main genus pod yet. They only appear where the ground has been disturbed. Uh, breaking free of the surface. Like where the tractors have disturbed the snowpack and where there were holes drilled into the snow for the flag. Exactly, sir. For all we know, the sheer weight of that much selenium might unleash a huge outbreak of the genus, bigger than we've ever seen. General Woodman, I think we should listen to this man. Kane, I warned you! Ira, help! Wait! What is going on? They're all crazy. All of them! This is amazing! The body's adapting beyond normal perimeters! I've got to get some pictures of this! I'm not exactly feeling photogenic right now. Fascinating. What makes him do that? General, we're running out of time. It's all right. We should proceed as planned. Doc, they're serious. I think maybe we should consider getting out of here before the airstrike. What we really need is to locate the genus pod so we can stop the airstrike altogether. Uh, guys, a little help here? Come on. Harry, watch those snow drifts, will ya? Sorry! All right, the satellite link isn't registering heat signatures, so we have to change the perimeters. That's it! Ooh. If the satellite scans for ground density instead of temperature, we should find them. See? This is us, and this is a large underground pocket most likely containing the genus pod. 
too bad for it. General, we found the pod at these coordinates. You can call off the airstrike. Having trouble receiving your signal. I have the coordinates of the pod. The jets are on their way. General, listen to me. You don't have... Repeat. Signal. Can Mission. General! General! Ugh. I never thought the day would come when I wanted to hear his voice. Wayne, can you fix the radio? I've got to call off that airstrike. I'm trying, but it's hard to move. I, I'm as stiff as... A... Whoa! Uh-oh! Too late! We've got to get out of here! The shock away from that airstrike can easily set off an avalanche! I hate being right all the time. Okay, now we're getting a heat signature. There's a whole lot of something heading our way, but it doesn't match the usual signature calibration. Maybe there's something wrong with the satellite. Maybe it's not the genus. Okay, so it's the genus. Huh? <laughs> Swarm and evacuate the resort. Lieutenant Lucy, grab your snowmobile while I run a couple of quick tests. Just as I thought! Not only is the genus Outbreak adapted for cold, it's incorporated ice crystals as part of its basic cell matrix. I know exactly what we need. General, you have to order another airstrike. Kane, it's not like I expect you to ever make sense. But you might recall that the first time we used incendiaries on that thing back in Arizona, it just got bigger. General, I know this is hard for you, but try to keep up. Every living thing adapts to suit its environment. Living things in a cold climate adapt to that climate. A rapid alteration of that climate would therefore destabilize all those adaptations. 
What are you talking about? Your airstrike was the right idea, but you should have used heat. You understand, don't you, General? I think so. Basically, with regular genus, heat is bad, but with this ice genus, heat is good. So it calls for an airstrike with incendiaries. You heard the nice man. Let's see how well fire and ice mix. <laughs> I thought I told you guys to evacuate the town. There's no place safe to put them. Okay, we need a plan. We've got an airstrike on the way, a resort full of skiers and tourists with nowhere to go, and a swarm of oversized genus jackalopes eating every bit of pine they can find. I better get rid of this then. Wait, you're a genius. And I'm a genius for thinking you're a genius. We're moving the wrong group. Leave the people where they are and lead the genus away. We need to round up all the air fresheners we can find. <laughs> I agree, but I think your priorities need a little work. No, all the pine-scented air fresheners? Oh? Oh! Wicked, the world's largest pine-scented air freshener. We're getting close. Oh, you know, pine and gassy really don't mix. Now wait, this calls for split-second timing and razor-sharp driving skills in order to... Or we could just skid right into them and hope they climb all over the truck. Hey, this is kind of like the Pine Piper. Wait, can't you make this thing go any faster? The weight of the monsters must be slowing us down. They're clear of the resort, General. But Dr. Kane and the others are still in the target zone. I'm sorry. You have your orders, Lieutenant. Ira, you've got to get out of there. Working on it. We're going to have to leave the truck and make a run for it. Leave her? After all she's done for us? We can't. Well, we don't really have a choice. Unless... Ira, the jets don't have the fuel to keep circling. Water cannons. But they're all covered by genus monsters. That's what I'm counting on. I get it. The pine smell is washing off. Wayne, get us out of here. By melting the ice crystals, we've managed to devolve these genus on a cellular level. That's a scientific first. And once again, we've made the world safe for, uh, French people. And pine trees. And cereal box downhill slalom champions. Shredded Odie brand? Anyone? I hope you and your associates will accept this expression of gratitude on behalf of our entire nation. to hurry. We don't have much time. What is it, Harry? They're resuming the championship events, and LeBlanc will be making his run any minute. And now that I'm a national hero, he'll have to give me an autograph. Hey, <laughs> maybe he'll want my autograph. Autograph you wanted? Not gonna happen.
every day. You're a real stinky watchdog. Wayne, I'm trying to work. It wasn't me this time, Dr. Kane, I swear. And you might want to lay off the coffee. You seem a little jumpy. Perfect score, LT. You the woman. Go, Lucy! Go, Lucy! Harry. Yes? You're embarrassing yourself? <laughs> I know! What is going on out here? Uh, just a little precision demolition. Preparedness is 80% practice, Doc. Oh, wicked! Gum! Wayne, it's tetrachloro, C8 gelinite. Cool! Is it sugarless? It's no gum. It's a high-grade explosive. Now remember, I'm a professional. Never try anything like this at home. But this is our home. Yeah, a wonderful home where somebody who will remain nameless but is wearing a military uniform and sour expression is blowing things up with dangerous military munitions. I'll keep your shirt on, Doc. I'm authorized. Woo! You've reached the Alienators. You're one-stop shopping for all your devolving needs. Alien monsters got you down, then... Ira, knock it off. This is important. There's... Save your breath, Dr. Reed. I can tell by that there's been an outbreak. Look on your face that there's been an outbreak. I'm downloading the details now. Your contact will be a Professor Andrea Davis. She called in the outbreak. Okay. You heard the lady in the white lab coat. Let's suit up, saddle up, and get ready to ride. just came spilling up all over the place, out of every seam. I've seen some mutations from radiation before, but this one takes the cake. I'm afraid it's more than mutations from radiation. It's an alien life form called the genus. And I've never seen a more perfect place for the genus than here. This place is nasty! Where is everybody? The town was deserted shortly after the military started abandoning their nuclear subs here. Nobody can live here now. The place is poisoned. Huh. Amazing how the military seems to be only good for destroying things, even when they're not trying to. I was under the impression we were here to attack the genus, not the military. Well, maybe humanity has enemies other than the genus, like ignorance and stupidity. Oh, look, the military isn't perfect, but it's there to protect and defend. You see where you'd be without it. A lot better off. Oh, you think so? Well, this is productive. I thought you people were here to save the world or something. Looks to me like you can't even save yourselves. Thanks for your help, Professor. We'll take it from here. Saddle up, people. Let's take a look at these subs from the bottom up. We're 
foamed out, watertight, and ready to dive. Where to, Dr. Kane? The satellite link registers heat signatures for three distinct genus pods. The map overlay indicates they're evolving on three separate submarine wrecks. Just point the way, Dr. Kane. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, that one. You got it. Full speed ahead. Oh, come on, yes. It's not like we can crack a window in here. <laughs> There! Genus Flatworms! Uh, Ira, I think we got more than that to worry about. There's a big purple bogey at 5 o'clock, and it's coming in fast! Get ready, people! Here it comes! Oh, and it's only a bunch of Genus Goldfish. They're more like normal butterfly fish. Well, normal butterfly fish that are nuclear irradiated, have three eyes and glow in the dark tongues. We're taking on water. Ah! your suit's oxygen supplies. We need to use the sub's remaining reserves to blow the ballast tanks. Do it, Wayne. Blowing tanks now. Come on, rise. Rise! zone yet. Look! Is it just me or is that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It's just you. I think it already is. Brace for impact! Brace for impact! It's coming in again! Hey, Wayne, with a tail like that, you could put the Glen Canyon Community College swim team in the championship finals, hands down! Get ready! Here it comes! Go, 
for it, guys. We only get one chance. There! It's coming! The net! Now! Nothing but Ooh. net! Easy there, small fry. You're a fish stick. <laughs> Home team wins again, and the crowd goes wild. Aw, wicked. Ira, I received the files you sent, and they don't look very promising. With the temperatures rising in the nuclear core, each of the three infected submarines could become critical. You're looking at a major meltdown. And with a triangulation pattern, that would get us a nuclear bloom, wouldn't it? And spreading the genus over half the globe in a matter of minutes. Thanks, Dr. Reed. We're on it. Now at least we know what they're up to. And it's also well orchestrated. We're dealing with a genus at a high evolutionary state. We're dealing with one mind. One brilliant mind. Scopes. Here's the plan. We have to devolve all three pods at the same time without triggering the meltdown ourselves. Hmm. Lieutenant? Look, Dr. Kane, about earlier. I just wanted you to know that I don't think it's a good idea to leave these submarines to Kane here like this. I mean, do you really think that I don't care? This uniform means that I do care. This uniform means that I am willing to lay down my life for others, despite what you think. The military isn't the bad guy. I mean, what do you want from me, Dr. Kane? I, uh, I want your help blowing things up. Oh, right. I knew that. Let's go. With the explosive set inside the selenium, the selenium will act as a buffer for the heat and nullify the catalytic destabilization of the radioactive core. You mean it's foolproof? Hey, that's perfect for us. Let's synchronize our watches. 30 minutes, now. What are you doing now, Ira? Just testing a theory. If Scopes has evolved at this outbreak, and all the genus are connected, I should be able to create an organic tracking device. Maybe I can find it. We are the genus. We live. We live. Scopes. Ah, the stubborn ones. You are here. Good. We will enjoy teaching you the power of us. Come, we are waiting for you. Hey, Ira! You created a genus radio! I wonder if you can get Sports FM on there. All right, we meet back here in 15 minutes. Let's go. Negative on that, Ira. Just a bunch of nasty-looking lobster things. Hey, that'll be enough of that! Touchdown! Harry Block! Your pathetic obstinacy will avail you nothing. Scopes, you talk too much. Come on out, and let's dance. Soon it is you who will talk no more. Speak louder than words. All right, Scopes. I know you're here. You've got to be on this sub. Fool. You think of me as one, but we are of the many. 
See how we thrive on your mistakes. See how you have fed us with this radiation. See how you have given us a home by your carelessness. You and your kind are not worthy inhabitants of this planet. Soon, that will change. You will inhabit it no more. We're on to your plan, and I wouldn't be counting us out just yet. <sighs> Not so tough now, are you, big guy? There you go, Scopes. Special delivery. Scopes! It's not like you to be so quiet. Scopes? Selenium bombs are in place. Detonation switch, armed and ready. Now, this is one time I don't mind you blowing something up. Be my guest. Do you really think you have the power to stop the genus? We are superior. Getting a little redundant there, Scopesy. You cannot stop us. We of the genus are pure genetic perfection. The genus species can never perish. You know, you really have to get over yourself. Unfair blocking. down and detonate those bombs. I'm on it, Dr. Kane. Oh, you're the man, Wayne. <laughs> uh, the, the fish man thing. Just go get him. <laughs> Your existence will end this day. <laughs> Let her rip. Just it. Going, going, gone. And he's out of there. Ah, oh, hey. I tell you, we wreck more vehicles. I'll look at it this way. You'll never run out of work fixing things up. The cleanup is complete, Doc. I never thought I would live to see the day. You know, you people are pretty unorthodox in your methods. You make quite a team. Yeah, we do. All in all, not a bad day. Come on, people. Let's go home. <laughs> Give us more of a warning? 
Starting to chatter, guys. We've got more company. said this post office could use a drive-thru. <laughs> now would be a good time for one of your brilliant plans, Dr. Kane. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Think faster! Got it! Wayne, can you increase the pitch of the truck's horn by 43%? Whatever you say, Dr. K. <laughs> this had better work. My plans always work. Well, there was that time in Australia where you... Harry. Okay, time to create a little sonic interference sequence. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, one. One, two, three. It sounds like we woke up every dog in Glen Canyon. Boneheads did to my baby. Oh, look at the bright side, kid. Now you can upgrade the truck all over again. Hey, that's a great idea. Well, of course it is. I'm a genius. Well done, people. This is a meritorious moment. Once again, Team Alienators save the day. We saved Glen Canyon and the world. We should be proud of ourselves. Although, next time we should try to save the government property, too. No way! I've watched curling for 15 years and I've never seen somebody deliver a stone that badly. My grandma can curl better than that guy. Dr. Kane, what did you call that sound? A sonic interruption sequence? Sonic interference sequence. Why do you ask? I always include your findings in my report to General Woodman. You're kidding, right? It's standard operating procedure. Just think of all the knowledge Woodman's gaining. All he can learn. Oh, to think how much my work must mean to him. Uh, why do I even bother? Admit it. It's because you like us. You really like us. Hey, my laptop. My report. Oops. <laughs> Oops. That's all you can say? Oh, it's no big deal. It's just coffee. Look, it comes right off. <laughs> That's it! I can't take it anymore! Hey! Could you guys keep it down over there? I can hardly hear the game! I'm going for a run! <laughs> Sorry, kid. Oh, are you okay? Sure, you? I will be. Just as soon as I go for a nice, long run. Come on, Gassy. Let's go shopping. <laughs> Welcome to Paradise, also known as the Glen Canyon Junkyard. Hi, Earl. <laughs> Looks like your truck needs some work there, Wayne. That's why I'm here. But first, there's something special you got to see. Beautiful. Pure poetry, huh? How's the manifold? As pristine as a day is long. Wait, you got to hear this. <laughs> Ignition's a little rusted, but... She runs like a dream. Sounds like one of the cylinders is cracked. Could be just a gasket. Gassy? What is it, Gassy? Oh, this is bad. This is worse than bad. It's badder this. 
Wait, is that right? Oh, why didn't I pay attention in English? It just needs a new muffler. It's not the end of the world. There are those alien things. Come on. We need to call for help. Ah! Help! Let me go, you varmint! Huh. You'll be free in a second, Earl. Wayne, hurry! I'm on it! Later. Right now, I want you to shoot at anything that tries to eat us. You don't have to tell me <laughs> Oh, not the fine Corinthian leather seats. We need to get to the radio. But how? <laughs> And this is way to Alienator's home base. Do you copy? Over. Emergency. Over. Wayne? What is it, kiddo? A Dr. Kane. We've got a serious problem. A growing fear at Gina's outbreak. Over at the... Ugh. Oh, man. Those were brand new floor mats. Ugh. Wayne's in trouble. Let's hit it! General Woodman, don't they teach you to knock in the military? I'm here on official business. Well, I hope you brought your running shoes because Lieutenant Lucy went for a jog. Actually, I'm here for you, Dr. Kane. Oh, that's sweet, General, but Harry and I were just on our way out. Not anymore. Place these men under arrest for destroying the Glen Canyon Post Office. No man is above the law, Kane. Not even you. This is no time for speeches, General Woodbrain. All right, there's a genus outbreak. Wayne's in trouble. Not possible. Dr. Reed keeps me informed of all outbreaks. The ones she knows about? Take them away! Oh man, these things don't give up. How long do you think we can hold these things off? I don't know, but we've got 500 gallons of selenium, which is pretty useful, provided they don't evolve an immunity to it. What's wrong with him? That. How's that possible? Well, it's just like an upgrade, only uglier. <laughs> in the penalty box with the fate of the world at stake. Well, I hope Wayne can hold out, wherever he is. You're making a big mistake, General. The only mistake I've made, Kane, is giving you and your ragtag group of misfits such free reign. But I had my orders. At least let me talk to Dr. Reed. She needs to perform a heat signature sweep for the genus. Lieutenant Lucy! LT. What happened? General Sourpuss over there had us arrested for destroying that post office yesterday. Sir, you have to arrest me too. I was part of that operation. In your case, a court-martial is a possibility. But right now, I'm giving you a direct order, Lieutenant Mai. Do not, under any circumstances, let those clowns escape from that cell. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir! All right. Get us out of here. I can't do that. I was given a direct order. You heard the general. Forget your stupid orders for once. Wayne and Gassy are in trouble. Trouble? What kind of trouble? Genus trouble. Come on, LT. Wayne's counting on us. Soldier, you're dismissed. <clears throat> but General Hoodman said... <clears throat> yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. Lieutenant. No. 
out of this uniform. Wearing it means I have responsibilities. I have a duty to always follow orders. And my orders were very specific. General Woodman said not to let any clowns escape. But I don't see any clowns in here. No grease paint, no funny noses, no big floppy shoes. Nope, definitely no clowns. And my orders didn't say anything about juggling keys very close to the bars. Oops. Oh, I dropped the keys. I said, oops, I dropped the keys. Oh, right. I'm seeing a whole new side of you, Lieutenant Lucy. I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for Wayne. Come on, let's go. This stuff isn't working anymore. You've grown immune to the selenium. Oh, why does this happen every time? We need Dr. Kane. Uh-oh, here we go again. Who said two heads are better than one? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna get you out of here. But I haven't flown in years. And that was a crop duster? I don't know, Wayne. One of us needs to go. And I'm not leaving you here. You have to go. But what about you? There's not enough room for the both of us. I can fight them off. Just save yourself, Earl. And I want you to do me a favor. Anything. You name it. Take Gassy with you. You have to go on without me, buddy. Dr. Kane and Harry and Lieutenant Lucy, they need you now. And just remember, I'll always be there in your heart. I know. I'm going to miss you, too. Your bright eyes, your happy smile, and your steak, most of all. Now, just go. Go! Okay, boy. It's you and me to the end. Now, Earl, push the red button in front of you. You mean this one? Hey! What are you doing? My orders didn't say I couldn't borrow a helicopter, did they? No. Well, you're absolutely right. And I don't often look in the back to see who else is riding in there. Huh? The back. The back! <laughs> Oh, gee, Lieutenant. I don't know how this is gonna look on your report to General Woodman. Ah! <laughs> oh, okay, shutting up now. Look, I'm zipping it, locking it, and throwing away the key. Actually, there's just one more thing. I need my gear. Can we stop by the lab? Uh, please? Pretty please? Well, since you asked so nicely. If we stay up here, we're gonna wind up being a couple of very unhappy chew toys. Ah! We have to make a run for it. Now, what do dogs like to do, Gassy? Chase things. Right, Gassy? So let's give them something to chase. Now, boy, let's go.
Hold on tight, Gassy. Not that tight. Well, I guess this is it, boy. We're outnumbered. It's only a matter of time before... Hey, buddy! Need a ride? Oh, you bet, Dr. Kane! I... Uh, I'm feeling funny. I'm mutating again. I... Oh, this is really useful. Wayne can't move. I'm going down. Uh. I tried my best, Dr. Kane, but those things became immune to the current selenium mix. I know, kiddo. Don't you worry. We'll take care of them in a minute. Uh. Take us up, Harry! Huh? You're too heavy! But, Dr. Kane! It's okay. You can send the basket back down for me in a minute. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay, Harry, try it again. something for the new mix. Perfect. The ethane in this lubricant should do the trick. Now, to get it into the fire truck selenium tanks for the final mix. Here goes nothing. truck with one of your missiles. It'll blow it up! Exactly. And it will mix and spread the chemicals at the same time. Trust me, just do it. Hang on! You did it! You destroyed the genius! And the fire truck. I'll look on the bright side, kid. Now you can really upgrade the truck. Hey, that's a great idea. As soon as I mutate back to normal. Uh, thanks for coming to get me and Gassy. You saved our lives. Don't thank me. Thank the lieutenant. She's the only reason we got here in time to save you. Just doing my job, kid. <laughs> Sir, I... I, uh... That'll be all, Lieutenant. Now, why is it always Kane and not Kane? Here. Hmm. It's not ticking. Just open it. Well, what does it say? Hey, it's from the Postmaster General. He's giving us a full pardon for destroying the Glen Canyon Post Office. <laughs> all right, a pardon. Hey. You. Pardon? Pardon? No, no. Pardon me. Okay, your pardon. Neither wind, nor rain, nor nasty genus outbreaks can stop the team alienators from coming through. Right, General? Hey, everybody. I finished rebuilding the fire truck. Come on, you gotta check this out. So, what do you think? Uh, it's great, Wayne. But didn't we used to have a jet? Uh, yeah, we did. But I kind of let a friend take it out for a test. <laughs> 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 